right. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, all good. Yeah, I'm good. All right. So expect this thing to bump around a little bit when we first get off the ground, but it'll stabilize the higher we get. Oh, Bob. Edible, traffic, Julia, Kilo Yankee, on the roll, 3 1. So I'm just driving this thing down the runway with my feet right now. I'm not doing really anything with my hand. Yeah. And look at that. She just pops off the ground. There's that air coming in. Feels nice. Yeah, it's a lot better. And I'm just going to reach down here and get rid of this lever. I don't need that anymore. We've already lifted. Wow, what a view. Oh, yeah. You live in the area here? No, I live in Scarborough. Oh, okay. Auto. Cool. Mom lives up in Wasago with Sean. Yep. So we're now approaching 500 feet over the ground. Yeah, I recommend take as many photos as you want, man. Approaching altitude. So that means we're coming up on a thousand feet. Okay. But that was Saga Beach there then, or the, yeah. the lake? Yeah. So we'll head off in that direction. Now, the reason why I want to fly over in that direction is the air tends to be a little smoother when we're near the water. Yeah. Out here, we're going to get a bit of turbulence because it's such a hot day. And that's just the way the sun reflects off the earth. It's bouncing off the earth. And creating all this turbulence, but whenever the sun hits the water, it gets absorbed. Okay. There we go. This is a nice altitude. Oh, so you just level off now? Yep. That part. So what I'll do is I'll get this aircraft out to the water, and then from there I'm going to start showing you how to control this thing. Okay. So the gauge I generally watch when I'm flying is uh, there's two really important ones. This is called an altimeter. This tells us how high we are. Yeah. Now, it says 2,200 feet, but that's not how high we are over the ground. We're that high above sea level. Okay. So sea level, like out in Newfoundland, the sea is at zero. Yeah. But here in Ontario, this area is about 700 feet above sea level when you're standing on the ground. So I just have to do some basic math to figure out how high we are off the ground. And right now we're about 1,500 feet over the ground. But whenever pilots talk to each other or talk to other aircraft, we always talk about how high we are above sea level. Uh, now this gauge here tells us how fast we're going. When that needle is up here in this kind of range here, 80, 70, 100, that's safe for flying. Once we start getting below 60, it's it's too slow for the plane to keep flying. Yeah. yeah. So that's one thing a pilot has to be cautious of, because if we start climbing an airplane and we don't add power, this is my throttle, the plane will slow down. And if it goes too slow, then it falls. So we're not going to do any of the falling stuff, but... Yeah, I hope not. No, no. That won't happen. I'm just going to make one more radio announcement in this area, and then uh, I'm going to turn this over to you trying this thing. Yeah, that's uh, a little scary. <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. There's Wasega Beach coming up. And Collingwood area traffic report star India Juliet Kilo Yankee is two miles west of Wasega Beach 1, traveling eastbound along the shoreline at 2,200. Alright, 
So this area should be a little more tame for turbulence. Yeah. Yeah, you can see Wasega Beach. It looks yeah, that's where you see where mom lives. Oh, nice. That's like where those bushes are. Oh, cool. So that's where all the side action of the is, river, yeah. yeah. That's a cool spot. Yeah, it's just right on like the split up each one of each two. Yeah. A random group of housing. <laughs> yeah. Never really tell it's like that and how much wood there actually is. Exactly. Until you're up here. It's crazy. Yep. All right, man, so let's get you doing this. So why don't you gently just put your hand on that control stick, and I'm going to show you what it does. Just keep your hand gentle on it. Now, if I want to take this plane and start turning it left, you'll feel all I'm doing is just a little push to the left like that. Oh, I can feel it on it, yeah. And if you look forward, you see what's happening. The plane's banking. So if we want to stop that, I just pull it like this. Yeah. And I'm now turning right. There's nothing you can do with this control stick that's going to get us into any trouble. <laughs> so, uh, you know, short of taking this stick and slamming it up against the wall, which you would never do that, you would feel the plane jerk too fast oh, like shit. that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so even just me jerking it a little Sorry bit. Sorry about the swaying thing. Oh, don't worry about it. You probably heard a lot up here, though. Eh? Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm really scared right now, but yeah, okay. I love it. Well, then why don't you just try keeping it straight, then? Just try to keep your hand on there. I'm going to keep my hand right here. I'm not going to let you do anything that's dangerous. Just look forward, and if you feel the plane moving left or right, just try to correct it. Treat it like a computer game. Seems like we're going down, though. Uh, it might feel like it, but we're not. This will tell us if we're going down. Since that needle's still on that oh, one. Oh, yeah, I wasn't looking at it. I forgot. See, there's so much to, like, pay there's attention a lot. to. Yeah, there's a lot to pay attention to. So you definitely can't be drinking. No. Weird. But it's kind of easy, sort of. <laughs> Taking off and landing is probably not, but... Yeah, it's challenging. That just takes practice, right? Well, it's probably more just because I've, I've never really done it, so it's more scary than... Of course, and it, you were high in the air, and it's understandable to think that something could go wrong. I've only been in a plane twice, really, uh, and not like a big one, but only to go to Newfoundland and back. Oh, okay. And most of the time, I just slept. <laughs> yeah. But I knew I was going to be on a plane. I was like, I'll stay up all night and sleep. There you go. Get through. But this is actually really cool. I love it. Now, why don't you just try turning it in any direction you want? If you want. That's it. That's okay. It's supposed to do that. That's called roll. And that's how we make a turn happen. There you go. You steered the plane. I just want to... I don't want to, like, you know, I'm going to get used to it before I end. Absolutely. It's like when I drive someone's car, too, like the braking and everything. You want to take it easy, yeah? Because you don't know. Some cars are more sensitive, the gas, the power. What is that, like a marsh? marsh? Yeah. Yeah, that's a wildlife marsh there. Did. This looks so funny like this. You see a lot of stuff from up here, that's for sure. A way different perspective. Absolutely. And we're actually moving pretty quick. We're doing about a hundred and right now we're doing about a hundred and sixty k. Holy shit! <laughs> doesn't really feel like it though. Nope. It's because we're up so high, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't give you that perspective because we have nothing going by us fast, right? Yeah. We're so high. But if we were closer to the ground, then you'd see the ground whipping by us real fast. Oh, yeah, for sure. Most likely, yeah. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just slightly fine. turning. Do whatever you want. Just slightly turning. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Awesome. I was so scared this morning. I feel now that I'm up, I feel more comfortable. Good. But I just don't. I hate trying to look out the window and hold the thing at the same time. But I know your hand's right there. My so. hand is right there, man. Trust me, I want to go home for dinner tonight. So. Yeah. Me too. Well, I want to party too. Yeah, that too. Surprised I wasn't home over this morning. <laughs> My buddy, he was pretty drunk. Whoa, whoa. That's okay. I got it. 
I got it. That's just turbulence. Yeah, you got it. I got it. Let me turn this back towards the water, okay? Let's get the shit out of here. Uh, it, it's, it's freaky the first time it happens. Well, it's just because I was holding it. I was like, did I do something wrong? Nope. That's just turbulence kicking in. And that's just because we're over top of the land area. We'll go back out towards the water, and then we'll head back over towards the airport. That really scared the shit out of me. That's all good. <laughs> I don't I don't expect it to be a normal sensation for anybody. Well it just it came out of nowhere and I was Absolutely. like, what's the move on? Yeah. <sighs> Wanna try again? Nah, you're good. Okay. Is there anything you want to see from up here then? No. Like honestly if you want we can go back. What? We could go over the where the river is. Yeah. I like the the way the paths are. Yeah. I'm also looking for fishing spots too. Sure. So why not? Well, he hired me for 20 minutes. We still have a bit of time, so we'll start going this way and then go that way. Seems like it's already been 20 minutes. No, only 14. <laughs> off and goes in this direction and this whole green area where all the forest is there's a river that cuts through there okay and i've seen a lot of people fishing down in these secluded areas yeah i see a river back over there yeah. soon we're going to cross right over it i'm just going to make an announcement to the airport okay Adamil traffic, Port Star India, Julia, Kilo Yankee, four miles north of the field they found for landing and across overhead the field and joining mid left down wind three one Now 
we should be coming up on that river soon. Yeah, I see it out my side. Yeah, there's some over here. So it might get a little bit turbulent here. Okay. Don't worry, it's normal. That's just something I gotta fight just to land this thing. Where's Pudge landing, eh? Well, not necessarily. It, it takes skill, but when a person does the training, it's well, everything's kind of intense when you're training to do this. Yeah, I bet. Then it just becomes no, no different than driving a car. <laughs> I somehow see that difficult to believe, <laughs> but... It does, you know. It's like driving a car on a bumpy dirt road. When you get those bumps and yeah, thrown sense. around and the tires are chattering a little bit left oh, and right. Sure. Was that the airport there? Yep. Doesn't look so big up here. No, it doesn't. It's only a small little thing. Alright, I'm professional. I'll land this bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh. See, I'm not really a heights guy. I hate it. I, I hear you, man. I'm terrified of heights, but for some reason, planes don't bug me. But I don't climb ladders, I don't stand on a roof of a building. Oh, I've had to do roofing, but I don't like it. Yeah, it sucks. Not my style. <laughs> so much work. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're labor, it's bullshit. Don't get paid enough. Approaching altitude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly in that direction a little bit further, and then make a left turn, another left turn, and then we come into land. Oh, uh, and then we come in this way. Yep. Edenville traffic, Julia, Kilo Yankees, overhead the field to join a mid left downwind, 3 1, full stop. It tends to get a little bumpy on this side of the airport for some reason. Okay. So uh, just be ready for it yeah, if it starts yeah. bumping around. Gotcha. We're actually getting off quite easy. Uh, earlier today was really turbulent up in the air. Oh, you've been up a couple times today? Oh, yeah. I've been at it since 8 this morning. Oh, damn. Well, you're getting paid to do something you like to do. That's true. Man, you must get sick of the scene by now. <laughs> you know what? I don't with uniform crossing uh, zero eight. I like it. For Delta. I really enjoy it. Peterville traffic, Julia, Kilo Yankee, turning mid left now. Went three one. Don't worry, I'll have you on the ground within two minutes. Oh, no, I'm good. I just was like, whoa. <laughs> My legs are probably going to be wobbly, though. <laughs> There's some turbulence. I knew that was coming. Yeah, you knew it. You called it. But it's best, I guess, when you know it's coming, right? Yeah, it helps. I just get used to this airport. It always seems to be in the same spots. Peterville, traffic Julia, Kilo Yankee, turning left base, 3 1 full stop. So, this is where I'm going to start slowing the aircraft down and we're going to start descending. Yeah, okay. Come in from back. Yep. I'm just slowing her down. I need to reach this lever here. Oh, yeah. I remember you said that earlier. Now you just, like, glide in. Pretty much, yeah. That, that, that's the ideal. If I can make it glide in, it would be nice. But I can also use power if I need to. But right now we're just gliding. This is like as if the engine was off. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Stop. Peterville, <laughs> Patrick, Julia, Kilo Yankee is final 3 1 full stop. So there's our runway. Starting to feel a little more secure when we're getting closer? Not really, it's actually worse. Really? <laughs> uh, just look at that runway, and you'll see that we're coming nice and straight towards it. We're getting nice and close to the ground. Very controlled. Like sometimes you feel like, kind of? Yeah, you're going to feel like a few of those, yeah. That's, yeah. Sort of, that's the weird thing. So I'm seeing a couple of... Uh, well, if we hit the ground from here, we might live. <laughs> we're going to set this thing down. <laughs> Oh. 
Look at that, we're on the ground.